Ignorance lovers, welcome to the Fox Accord. Today I'm very excited. I'm going to dive into something I've been waiting to do for a while. In the past year, I have jumped in off the high dive board into the deep end of Middle Eastern fragrances. I have my Magnificent Seven, that I like to call them, that I've been wearing this year, that I grab for the most. And lots of these fragrances are kind of cooler weather based. And I'm starting to grab for these a lot and I'm loving them more and more and more. Lucky number one, in no particular order, we have Armoth Magnificent. Now, I've noticed that the bottles are wacky with Middle Eastern fragrances in certain houses and you get some crazy boxes. Now, it's cardboard, but still, presentation can't go wrong. It makes you feel like you got a really high-end fragrance when this thing shows up. It kind of blew me away. And now the bottle. The bottle is no cheapy. You have, it's heavy, a magnetic cap, clicks into place, holds the fragrance well. It's got that little faux diamond making you feel like you're rich as hell. I was like, oh wait, got a diamond in that shit. What up? But besides all the Gucci display, we have a Eau de Parfum concentration. We have a sprayer's good. We have this sweet, boozy, vanilla, like spicy amber running through this. When I started wearing it, I'm like, man, this smells like something I've, you know, smelled before. And I know Armoff does these clones. Like I was told prior, like, you know, they do a lot of very similar fragrances or their intention is to clone. And I'm walking around and this thing got some positive feedback. The Armoffs I'm gonna talk about in this lineup, especially this one, I get six to eight hours. It projects for the first four to five hours and then you know starts sitting closer to my skin. If you're into that boozy, sweet, musky, vanilla-based, spicy ambers, a touch of maybe a touch of powdery like nature, but as I'm walking and wearing this, I'm like, like I said, I'm like, what, what fragrance is this? What, like I've, I've put my nose on this before. If you wanna save some bucks, it's pretty much pure excess. I'd say 80 to 90% and I'm being, it may be more. I mean, the dry down to on both hands an untrained nose is not gonna know that you're wearing Armoff Magnificent. Maybe a little bit darker. It is almost spot on. Definitely love this. I grab for it often. Check out Armoff Magnificent. So I was on, once again, an online discounter and I already had my Magnificent. I'm like, let me try uh, another fragrance from the Middle Eastern world. So I stuck with Armoff because that was the first company I went with. And I picked up Armoff Odyssey. Try to get that out of the light. Another Eau de Parfum concentration, another wacky bottle. It kind of reminds me of Spice Bombs grenade style fragrance. Um, the cap, it's plastic, super cheapy. It's either they are over the top and the quality for the price blows you away or the price matches the quality of the bottle. Not a sexy presentation right here, but it's all about the juice as we say. So cheapy cap, plastic, bottle is heavy and dense. Let's see the atomizer. It's got a good atomizer. Smell it right away in the air. Now this fragrance hit me right away. It reminds me on the opening in the first maybe half hour of Tom Ford Extreme, which I happen to like. This performs, let's see, I, I've worn this about maybe 10 times and 
I get great performance out of this. It's a good six, seven hour fragrance, mild projection. I mean, like most Middle Eastern fragrances, they're a little spicier. So if you have heavy on the trigger, you might choke yourself out or choke other people out around you, especially if it's a, a bunch of fresh sprays. And I'm a good, with this one, six sprayer. I go a little heavy, especially in the cooler weather. But man, for a, oh, let me see, I think I even wrote down the price. Another one that was around 30 to 40 bucks. I mean, if you're into the sweet amber, um, another, I think vanilla's in this, some iris is in this. Um, Violet, I believe, it's slightly powdery. Um, I believe there's, I don't, there's some leather in here. I don't really detect the leather, but man, arm off. This is another killer. You could blind buy this, it's not that expensive. If you've been wanting Tom Ford, can't shell out the bucks for Tom Ford Extreme, or even, in the same vein, I'd say, of Prada Loam Intense, but um, doesn't smell exactly the same, but along those lines of a fragrance, um, another one, Cheapy Gold, in my opinion, or Moth, number two. I love this one. Check this out. Number three, it is the most hideous bottle. Presentation, without even showing you, I'm gonna give a three. I'm gonna just show you this. Is Armoff craze? Look, I could see myself in it. Look, I'm filming all me found. I don't know what this strappy thing is. So we got this fake leather strap. It says Armoff at the bottom. The cap is super cheapy. I'm talking about, you know, it's one of those plastic chromes that it, after a while, this starts wearing and turning black. Same with the inside of it. But you know, I picked this up and I have this, the uh, actual niche fragrance as well. I have two decants of it, not a full bottle, but uh, two 10 mils I picked up. It's Parfum de Marley's Pegasus that this fragrance is supposed to be a clone of. And I must say, for a Pegasus clone, and you could pick this up on discounters for 20 to $25, you are getting a bang for your buck. If you've been wanting Pegasus and can't shell out the 200 plus or in and around 200 plus dollars, $25 will get you a pretty damn good clone. Great atomizer. Now this thing is a spicy beets. You got vanilla, almond, opening, spices just running through it. It's got this nutty nature. You smell some fruits in it. I don't know the exact note breakdown. It's not even too synthetic on the opening. It's just lovely. I mean, I wore again, Pegasus on one arm and this one on, on Craze on the other to wear it around the house to really see, like, I mean, $25. Performed for eight to 10 hours on my skin. It pumped. If you're into compliments, it was an old lady, but she still said, sir, you smell good. And I'm like, thanks. If you want something that is a clone or you don't want to spend top dollar for a Parfum de Marley, this is a close Pegasus. I really don't know what else to say about that. Hideous bottle, cheapy cap, decent atomizer, quality juice, 25 bucks. Think about it. Another beast from the Middle East is Versace Suter Wow. I'm just gonna skip all the bull. If you like Spice Bomb, and that type of fragrance you enjoy, get your hands on this. I believe it's around $40, 40 to 50. So you're getting a little above the cheapy prices, but still 
I mean, Spice Bomb. 100 mil, I believe, is over 100 bucks. Easy. Especially if you're going to, you know, Macy's, Dillard's, or big department stores, even on online discounters, you're still getting 80s, 90s. This, it's got a beautiful spice to it. It's a little bit richer and darker than I feel like than Spice Bomb. It performs like an animal. This thing is a beast. It smells great. This thing is amazing. I was super impressed. If you see this on an online discounter and you like Spice Bomb, 100% safe blind buy. If you feel different when you get it and you're a Spice Bomb lover and you hate it, you could terrorize me in comments. I'd love to get them anyway. On to the next. I watch, you know, so many fragrance-based videos that, you know, it gives you similar content as we all know. And this Middle Eastern gentleman gave a short little take on this fragrance from Al Haramain. Sorry if I said that wrong. It's called Detour Noir. The bottle is funky. Like I said, these Middle Eastern fragrances, you get some wacky presentations. It's a plastic, you know, chrome metal looking top. It's plastic. This is plastic as well. The bottle is glass and it's, you know, besides the weird shape, it's solid. It's got some weight to it. The atomizer is all right. But guys, if you could get your hands on this, this is 95% Parfums de Marly Layton. Now I have a full bottle of Layton and it's one of my favorites in the line of, um, we're talking niche. It's super popular. Really want to do a full review with my Parfum de Marly's Layton with this, I will do it and I'll give you the full notes. Sometimes finding notes for these Middle Eastern companies is kind of odd or they have no release dates. If I sent you a decant, it opens a, a little bit synthetic, but instantly within 10 seconds, you're wearing late. It's maybe slightly a touch spicier, but this no one is gonna know no one's gonna know yeah no one's gonna know that you're wearing a 40 dollar al harriman clone in my opinion of Layton, and i haven't put my nose on anything that could touch this one they just can't it's awesome I'm telling you, PDM, Layton, by Al Harriman, Detour Noir. They have a Rouge as well that just came out, but I haven't found much on it. But if you can get your hands on it, do it. Fragrance number six. I was very excited to get my hands on. Now, I did a very risky thing, but I do watch her channel. I find her to be extremely entertaining and fun and the reviewer's name oh she goes by curly fragrance she is totally about sexy fragrances sexy 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 she's quite the looker herself now i was watching one of her top 10 she gave the point and said i'm gonna make you sexy so I got duped into it. She's got the look. She's got the energy. She sold me. And I was just getting into the Middle Eastern fragrances. She brings up this fragrance. Arabian Night by Arabian Oud. Arabian Night Oud comes in a box like this. I don't want to drop it. Drop the box. Presentation. Love the bottle. Arabian Zood, Arabian Night. You got a metal cap. It's 
definitely doesn't no magnet no magnet it you see that I'm not even looking it, it slides right off don't grab this puppy from the cap but the bottle is great and this fragrance Let's see the atomizer great atomizer now you have I get right away this spicy citrus um, amber this vanilla I believe there's a ton of notes in this thing it's hints of rose it's animalic I've read on a online like forum that this is a freshie now it's hot in the Middle East you know they use a lot of spices to me I've been rocking this in the fall and the winter I did wear I did get this in the summer and I did wear it and it performed really really well but when you smell it at first you don't consider this a freshie people feel like it's a a darker version of Le Mal by Jean-Paul Gaultier and maybe in the same along the same lines but it is totally different the juice in this is magnificent I mean it's I would I took a big risk blind buying this but this thing performs like an animal on my skin 10 to 12 hours it projects like a beast it was really good in high heat even though it's like I would probably wear this more in like cooler weather great date night scent great clubbing scent great hanging around scent if you're confident then I'll rock any fragrance in a t-shirt and jeans it's just who I am if I feel like wearing it it's on my shelf for a reason it's not gonna sit until I'm in a suit I wear a suit every 10 years so t-shirt and jeans anything date night this is sexy you like that style of fragrance of Lamal then you want a darker version of that that performs still has quality juice wasn't reformulated that it doesn't kick ass like the old Lamal did Arabian Oud is for you Arabian Night this is a beautiful fragrance thank you curly fragrance this was blind by worthy I am enjoying this it is a sexy excuse the location change I was editing and realized my sound was awful and my clips were so choppy of this final fragrance in the seven Middle Eastern fragrances that I wanted to present to you guys let's just get right into it so there's going to be a little location change we're in the future right now and then I'm going to jump back to sitting in the chair and it's going to be daylight so here we go from Arabian Oud once again I bring to you Arabian Oud's Amiri beautiful box it comes in has all the details on the back batch codes all the ingredients all that stuff and then you open the box and within the box what's in the box is another box another beautiful box that let me turn it around that you open up to present this gorgeous bottle look at that thing I mean Middle Eastern companies you can't go wrong with some of their presentations this is a higher end fragrance and it is pretty special to me because this was a blind buy that was an homage to a fellow reviewer that passed away God rest his soul Brooklyn fragrance lover I watched one of his videos and this fragrance was on it and just his passion and his detail to it just uh, had me hooked let's check out the bottle it's beautiful it's classy it feels great in the hand it's metal it's a magnetic cap a no joke one it's a beautiful atomizer I'm not gonna even waste the spray I'm gonna spray it on myself 
oh, it is just, there's the puppy again. But uh, this is just, oh, I could just smell it in the air. I'm gonna put this down. From presentation to fragrance, it's just off the charts. It opens with this beautiful citrus, bergamot, I believe mandarin orange. Um, there's vanilla in here, there's wood notes, there's a ton of them. I'm gonna do a full review. This fragrance is what Dior Sauvage and some of these big names wish they were. Amiri means prince, and just from its name, that's what this fragrance is for. It's royalty. You smell of, you smell in the presence you're bringing into a room when you're wearing this in a formal occasion, business meeting, um, you go into a fancy restaurant, date, like myself, I'll rock it with this on. There is no fragrance like this. It's one of my most cherished in my collection. I'm very tender with the sprays because it's not easy to get, number one. It's not cheap, but guys, this is a beast from the Middle East. High heat, all seasons with this one. Like I've been saying, the spice factor in Middle Eastern fragrances is high. You give yourself good four sprays, you are, you're known in that room. Siage, above average performance. I'm getting 10, 12 hours out of this thing. It dries down to this gorgeous story that's sitting on your body. I can't speak enough about it. This one's for you, Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Thank you, we all miss you. And um, I hope to be at your level one day of expertise. With that said, we're gonna flash back to the past where it's daylight and I'm in a chair. Amari Arabian Oud. Thank you for traveling to the Middle East with me. I'm new to the fragrances. It's very exciting to me. Please comment if anything. I'd love some recommendations. I'd love to talk about Middle Eastern fr fragrances with you guys. It's just amazing. Some real goodies I lined up for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I always give you a piece. Stay safe and love. Smell fresh. Be great. And I'll see you soon. Thanks, guys.